Laborio becomes American top team, and he's one of the original guys from the Carlson Gracie team and what was Brazilian top team there. Now, what, uh, I'll ask you, why Laborio? Because if you look at, especially when you consider MMA resumes, Sperry, like who you just mentioned, Murillo, there were guys, you know, with more MMA experience, which is kind of a top team was going to be MMA oriented. How does Laborio work? Is it really just because yeah, he's, fit in. is it because he's just the magic boy? And, and you know, is it all mat based? In jujitsu, yeah. In jujitsu, I mean, listen. Um, you asked why he didn't get good in MMA. It's just because he doesn't have. He's not a competitive mindset guy. He's just not like he's not like Chris. Will get in there and just let it all hang out. He had a problem competing. You know, a little bit of a mental block. But with jiu-jitsu, nor is Zemaru, nor... Listen, I've, I've passed Zemaru's guard in Wumpel, I can't... Never even come close to do that shit with, with the body, you know? Never trained with <laughs> Murillo. Murillo, to me, was one of the most intelligent fighters to ever step in the ring, you know? But they say that jiu-jitsu, Murillo couldn't... None of them could stand their own with, with the body. How did he get to American Top Team? Because he was friends with, with uh, Marcelo Silveira. And, and I guess they got in contact and he wanted to break off. He wanted to come to the States. So that's how that happened. 